Welcome to a new test and teardown video. This time it's something absolutely fantastic. The Philips SPZ 802 Digital Multimeter. This one is from about 1980 or something like that. <laughs> what is that? I even got a new little probe tip and uh, there's a fuse, really? Oh, that is nasty. And see, there's even space for extra batteries. Yes, this thing runs on three little coin cell. Oh, I need to clean this. Here. Oh, that is so nasty. So this one was made in 1980 in Japan, as you can see here in Tokyo, by the way. So by the Japanese Philips division. And it was, of course, also sold in Europe. Oh, there's a little opening here and all that kind of stuff. It is really, really cool. It's a little three and a half digit LCD multimeter and it can do only voltage, AC and DC, and uh, ohms. Oh, it is upside down. Sorry about that. On, off. What? What the heck? I did not expect this thing just to power up. What the? Okay. So we got batteries in this one. How amazing. So DC voltage, AZ voltage ohms. Okay. And uh, 2K, 20K, 2 mega ohm. Okay, 2K. I gotta see this in the first clip. How about that? I was expecting to find completely leaked and uh, puke batteries all over the place in this little thingy here. Okay, let's have a look. If I short the little... Oh, come on, baby. Here we go. And it goes to almost zero. How about that? It is absolutely beautiful. I think there is a way to clean this plastic. Because it is a little bit yellow. Oh, Maybe also check out my old videos. I should maybe put in a link in the description for my other video, the HP uh, 970A uh, Probe Multimeter. It is a little bit like this, but with a little red LED and it is much more sexy to be honest. Probably also cost like 10 times as much being in Hewlett Packard. That was not so easy to open, but here is the fuse. So this is probably for the ohm or something like that. It looks like there's a little lock. Oh, this is brilliant. So this is how you pull it out. And they thought about everything. And then the tip. Okay, you just unscrew this and then there's this funky looking huh. yeah, I need to clean this a little bit, but that <laughs> yeah, of course it is for uh, readability, obviously now it makes sense, so there's an angle to this one, right, and then you just put this in, and of course you can. Oh, but it's already perfectly fine. So then, see, there's this angle pointing down. So when you're poking around with stuff, you get this one directly up your face. Ha <laughs> I, <laughs> I gotta use this one for <laughs> some repairs and stuff like that in the future. I'm already in love with this one, especially it's working. So how are we going to open this some more? There's probably a way. Mm. 
they are green and puked and all that. So it, it was a little bit like I expected. I just did not... Come on. I just did not expect them to be actually working. See? Oh, it's... Oh, yay! Oh, happy, happy. It's even wet. Okay, so that means we got some... Oh, funny! Different cells, even different thickness. And, oh man, I need to go wash my fingers now. See, I was able to clean it real nice and fine. And uh, I also figured out how to disassemble it. See, the bottom part, you just push a little bit here on the sides to release these. Of course, you need to take out all the screws and the two screws here, right? Nice and shielded. How about... Oh, yeah. Okay, this is no surprise. So we got this LCD readout chip. And this is a very famous chip. And they use really, really low power. Wow, the LCD is in a socket. How about that? And you can even see the liquid crystal the polarizing reflecting thingy it's this is the real old school type of display and there's a thick film a flex board right so this flex board is a real flex board going in one piece down here and then there's a little thickener glued to that one wow this is amazing well done here we got a little op amp or something like that it looks like an op amp and the fuse still haven't yet figured out what that fuse is for but that has to be the resistance so we got some calibration potentiometers so I can also do that and that will be the two switches what is this doing BC battery checker maybe the switches they move real nice and fine yeah I'm actually a little bit impressed I don't find a screw to um, take out the circuit board so how is that attached maybe maybe if we pull see the display is just maybe you can just pull this yeah okay here we go and then <laughs> and there's a capacitor here on the back Oh, this is some nice design. And now it's hitting something else. So this is a voltage doublet chip or something like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I totally love it. I'll be the battery input and voltage generators and stuff like that. So TL066, I guess. Wow. Okay, so the circuit board is mounted just like that. So we can probably just pull it. I really wanted to take out all those little metal parts to clean this completely. I am really, really happy about this. Here was... Oh, uh -huh, that will be from the battery. So I had a little bit of nasty, nasty right there. So I want to clean this a little bit better. Well, what do you think about this design? Isn't that just really, really nice? Oh, this is a double, double-sided double flex. Look at that. Maybe we can, yeah, look at that. We can even see that. Wow. 
What a fantastic design that is. So after a lot of cleaning and reassembling and new batteries. Here is my final one, two, three, four. <laughs> it's uh, doing a little bit of flip on the last digit. And let's see what we got. Ah, we're far away from one, two, three, four, aren't we? <laughs> Almost. I think it is quite accurate for its uh, size and age. I mean, this one is 40 years old or probably even a few more years than that. And it's still really nice and cute. So let's try the resistance ohms and then 2K um, full range. So I just took a, oh, this is difficult to see, 1K8. And this meter says 1K7756, sort of. This is what, oh, this is annoying. Oh, it's the other lamp. Sorry about that. 1K7, 7, 6, 8, 9 to be accurate, but who's counting? <laughs> so it wasn't really bad at all. I'm so happy. But that is all I wanted to show in this little video. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you had a little bit of fun. Bye bye.